I don't know why the video started like that. Um, this is vlog like 18 or 19, depends on which one I upload first. I'm recording two vlogs today because I didn't vlog yesterday. And because I just had two things I wanted to do today, so thank you're welcome. <laughs> Mostly thank you. You're welcome, guys. I'm going to show you what's on this last shelf, potentially. I don't know if I'll get through the whole shelf, but I'll try. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the books, because I didn't show you all, like, any of the books on this shelf. And I'll show you the trinkets that are on it, and what's in the cubes. Except one cube, at least, because one of the cubes is literally just gifts that I have for different people. And obviously, I don't want to spoil their gifts. Plus, like, it's kind of weird, so... Yeah, I'm going to be showing most of them. So let's start on the bottom right shelf, which is right next to the one with the turtle that I showed you like a couple parts ago. And it also has books on it. And then it has the three animal statues I showed you last time, which they have dust on them now. Okay. The three animal statues. Why did I say statues? They're figures. Anyways, this whole area just has like older books so like mostly books my mom gave me to just either store in my room or like I've read them or she read them to me so yeah okay let's start with um I don't know but let's start with two at a time for now we have Judy Bloom Tales of Fourth Grade Nothing we also have Super Fudge, also by Judy Bloom. So those both are by Judy Bloom. Then we have a lot of Beverly Cleary books. We have a lot of them, so I'm gonna show you all of them. Here's all of them right there. So we have Ribsy. Ribsy? Is that how you say it? I don't know, but it's a dog one. We have Strider. Another dog one. The mouse and the motorcycle. Um, Ramona the Brave. Ramona's World. Be Beavis and Be Beavis and Ramona. Bro, I'm probably saying all this wrong. I'm like pronouncing everything wrong today, so. We also have Dear Mr. Henshaw. Then we have Socks, which is a little cat one. Then the next books we have are, I'm just gonna like take them all off, okay. We have the box art, box art? What am I saying, bro? The box car children, one and two. We have one and two of them. There we go. Um. Then we have Because of Wind Dixie. There we go, that's a classic. We have Charlotte's Web. We have Animal Logic. We have X-Men. An X-Men book. Hold on, we got some more. We got a pack of riddles. Look at that book. We have Black Beauty. The little horse book. The Tales of Des Despero. Yeah, I definitely said that right. It's a mouse book. My mom read that to me when I was little. Anne of Green Gables. It has a very good Netflix series. I don't know if it's still on Netflix, but yeah. Okay, so that's this shelf. Hold on, let me put these books back. I'm gonna pause the video for that, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the cube that has the gifts in it and move on to the next cube in the next bookshelf. So the next cube is right above the shelf I just showed y'all, and it has mostly random yarn stuff in it. So it has a pair of rainbow yarn, like, sock things. They're supposed to wear, like, over your socks, so they're kind of like slippers. There's two pairs of them, because I also have these pizza, um, Snoopy ones, which say pizza, pizza cake. It's a pizza cake. I just haven't worn them because they're kind of, like, I don't know. You have to feel a certain way to wear them. And also, I think I outgrew a couple of them. So, then we also have these yarn eggs that um, my mom's friend made. This one looks like French. I don't know. This one 
looks um, bisexual. This one looks purple, green, blue. This one is like, oh my gosh, this one's red and white slash pink. And then this one's green, blue, white. So yeah. And then we also have this little bracelet I got from my Spanish teacher, which I started wearing, but I failed. And then we have my recorder, which a lot of the belts fell off of it, but I still have my green, orange, and white belt. The rest of them fell off and probably like I lost them somewhere, which is sad, but I got the black belt, trust, okay? Got the black belt, trust. But anyways, I put them all in this drawer because they're all kind of random, so they're all in this drawer. I don't know. Next up, we have another bookshelf, so let's go. This is my one of my favorite authors because he does really good, like, illustration things. His name is Duncan Tonajua, I don't know, I probably didn't say his name right, but this book is actually a children's book, but, like, I really like his art style, so I got it. And I also really like this book. It's called Separate is Never Equal. And I love this book. He got some awards. And it's basically about segregation of different races. Yeah, so this is a really good book. I definitely recommend. It's really good. Even if you're not a kid, you should read it. Because it's really good. So yeah, the lighting in here is really bad, but it's a good book. Oh yeah, and the two trinkets that are on this shelf are things I got from like my grandparents and stuff. So I got this cat from my grandma's house. And then I got these two dogs. My great grandma gave me them. And I was so happy because I wanted them. I like visited her when I was really little. And she gave me them. And I was so happy. So yeah, I have these two little puppy dogs fighting slash hugging. And they are so adorable. I love this statue so much. So now we're going to move on to Ronald the Hall. I don't think I said his name right, but these are the books I have of him that are on this um, shelf. This shelf is also just random old books, So, but it has a lot of animal books too. We have, oh first of all, this book is by Cynthia Rylan, 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 I don't know, but um, she makes really good kids books called Mr. Putter and his like and his cat tabby or whatever which i really like those books when i was little i still do and then also she i think she makes henry and mudge but she also made this book called gooseberry park so i love her art style stuff which someone else made but you know still i like the art style that um artists do in her books and she writes really good books so yeah this is a good book but then let's get into Ronald the Hall. We have the BFG, which you might know from the film that was made. We have Boy. We have The Witches. We have um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Sorry, it's like really dusty on the bottom of that book. <coughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And then we have Matilda. So there we go. We have those books. Okay. Next up. We have. Ah. Ah. We have chicken noodle. Wait no. Chicken soup with rice. Which is a really good book. That I actually read in music class. I remember learning like a little dance with it. Love this book. Um, basically, hold on, let me read one page for funsies. In January, it's so nice while sipping on the sliding ice to sip hot chicken soup with rice. Sipping once, sipping twice, sipping chicken soup with rice. Oh my gosh, that's the, that book is a banger. Okay, read that book. Then we also have The Incredible Journey, which is actually my dad's book that he let me have. About two dogs and a kitty cat. I haven't read it yet, but I planned on reading it. This book is called The Complete Kitten and Cat Book, which actually has no cover. So let me see. It just tells you about kittens and cats and how to take care of them. This book is so good. It's about Harchiko. 
probably said that wrong, but it's a Japanese dog, Shibu Inu, who, it's based on a true story, and he was such a devoted dog that they made a statue for him in the Japan, so, thank you, it's such a nice dog, um, Leia wants out, so let me finish up this bookshelf first, uh, I'm scared that book is gonna fall over, so let me just put it on its side, okay, we have the puppy who wanted a boy, like, original book, so old because uh, it's original then we have muffin which has a similar vibe with the red cover and stuff so i put them next to each other so muffin is a little kitty book we also have a book called cats which is orange and so beautiful with those little cats on the front this book is called how kittens grow it's actually like a children's book but i kept it because i love cats so and then we have the puppy who wanted a boy, but it's a newer version. It's a reading rainbow version of it. So, yeah. And then the last book I have on the shelf is called 101 Cataclysms. I didn't say that right, but there you go. And yeah, that's all that's on the shelf. So I'm going to fix the shelf and let Leia out. And I'll be back in a minute for the last two things. I had to like move a lot of stuff to get back here, so it took me a while, a while, to um let Leia out and everything. But we have two more um things to go through: one shelf and one cube. So let me actually check what's in this cube. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's kind of boring to be honest. I don't know. Okay. Anyways. Let me show you the trinkets on the next bookshelf and show you the last few books. So we have, this is Bronze, my spider toy. Um, then we have Ron Weasley, which is like, him and Hagrid are the only two I didn't put in the thing. Because I'm just putting them here, I guess. Um, that doesn't mean they're my favorite characters, I just kind of forgot about them to be honest. But we got Ron, we got, he has like little the little bean bot things and then there's also a little baby dragon then we have Hagrid here he is with his little oven mitts and stuff and he has a little dragon egg with a piece of dust I guess as a souvenir <laughs> and then he has a cauldron which also has I put the stone in there because I didn't want to lose it it's like the little orange stone I forgot what it's called but you know then we also have the cover for my nightlight thing, my like star night thing. And then the rest of these books are all the silver steambook shelves, silver steambooks that my mom, they're actually my mom's books, but she wants me to store them in here. So let me show you all them. We have Runny Rab, Runny Babbit. There you go. We have a light in the attic. His books are kind of bangers, too, so. We have The Giving Tree, a classic. We have Where the Sidewalk Ends. We have Falling Up. And we have Everything on It. Okay. And then I just have a few, like writing books on here so hold on okay so the next ones we have are the okay those are gonna fall over yeah okay we have these writing books so we have a writing box which has the creative writing book, the writing journal, and the write your own storybook in a three pack right there. So, writing box. So, it just helps writers write. You know, I'm a writer, so I gotta write. And then we have story writers ideas journal. And then we have um, 199 zoo animals, which I just kept because I thought it was cool. So it's in there. Okay, so that is that. And then I just put the little nightlight cover to keep these books from falling over, hopefully. And lean them, because that also helps. 
And then we're just gonna put everything back on the shelf real quick. So sorry about that. It's gonna take a little bit. And what's in this cube? Let's see. I can't show you everything in here, but I'll try. Okay, we have a box which has um one of another one of like the um it has another one of the brochure holders in it, um, in case I need another one, because I'm using one for my bookmarks and one for my, um, bracket stuff, so I have another one, because it was a three pack, so I can use it. So here's the acrylic brochure holder box, guys. Anyways, that is it. Then we have my old phone case. Wonderful, guys. This is what my phone used to be in. Um, we have a pop, some pop sockets. We have, I don't know, a grant granular. I don't know, some pop socket, man. I don't know. It's in a bag. Someone gave it to me. This one says "Be kind." It's like half open because I was gonna use it, and then I realized. That I couldn't. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then we have pieces for my tech deck thing. And then this thing has all my wheels and trucks for my tech decks in it, but it's a little shark container, so that's super cool. And then these are the three tech deck skateboards I can't build because I don't have enough either trucks or wheels or stuff like that, so... I think it's trucks. I don't have enough trucks for them. So there's this one. There's a sunflower one. And there's this blue one. This blue one is the one I like most out of these. These are all three of them though. I didn't like them as much as the other ones I have. So that's why. Because I found out I wouldn't have enough. And I chose which ones I liked more. So that is why. Then we have a little scrapbook thing, which honestly, I wonder if photo cards would fit in this because I could use it for that, but it's kind of dirty and old. And it also has sticker residue because I was dumb when I was young and decided to try and put stickers on it. But it's just a little scrapbook thing. It's like a handheld one. So yeah. Then we have my old, um, my old recorder book. Which I could try and learn again. G G G A B A G B A H. I don't know why I wrote that down, but I did, so I could learn again, you know, and play that. And we also have my 2020 yearbook, which is great because we literally were halfway online for 2020, but. I kept it. We also have some yearbooks from my old school from 2013 and 2012, so I was like really young. And then we also have like a little art book from my um, old school, which I'm not going to take out because it's literally stuck in there. And also, I don't think my art was in it, but I kept it because, um, because I was proud of the people who did get the art in it, and I thought it was interesting, so I got it. So anyways, that's what's in there. I'm not going to show you the, like, yearbooks, because it obviously gives away my schools and the people in them, so yeah. But it has my old yearbooks. Those are the only yearbooks I got. I didn't buy any from, like, middle school after that, because literally I was not that interesting of a person, so I knew I wasn't going to be in the yearbook. Other than, like, my school photo. And also, like, it was just too overpriced. Like, I don't have money for that, so. But, this year, I'm going to get a yearbook, so that's pretty exciting. Because I like high school a lot more, and I got more stuff that I can do in high school. So, I'll actually be in the yearbook for, like, extracurricular, so. So, yeah, but I hope you all like this video. We finished off all my cube shelves. So now I'm probably going to show you my big shelf and maybe my, like the top of my shelves, I don't know, honestly. But yeah, I hope you like this video. Have a good day, afternoon, or night. Thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.
I think it was going to turn off if I did that, so it turned on like that or something. Bye.